successfully SSH'd, uh, set up a secure connection into our server, what we're going to focus now on doing is getting your server upgraded. Uh, there's always upgrades available to the Linux operating system and a simple way to do that is by using a program that's installed in the Linux operating system called apt-get. Now in order to use it you do need to use the sudo command, the uh, super user do command, which will give you temporary root user access. Okay, so from our terminal what we can do is at the terminal prompt type sudo and then apt-get. Now if you just did this what it's going to produce is going to ask me for the password. It's going to produce a number of options and things that you can use in order to uh, how to use apt-get. Uh, one of the things we are going to want to do right off the bat first off is an update and what this will allow us to now do is we will update the list of available packages that are available when apt -get, in apt-get. So uh, we're going to issue that command first. And it's a very harmless command to do. So sudo apt-get and update. And it's going to scan all the different lists that are available and it's going to create a new set of package lists. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to resize this up just a little bit here so we can kind of keep everything in the same window. All right. So now that we have an updated list of applications to choose from, we can now also do an upgrade of our operating system. Now you say I just installed the Linux operating system why would I need to update it? Well as you are probably well aware if you install an operating system such as Windows XP or Vista or Mac OS X there's always updates that are available. Same thing with Linux. Linux is patching their uh, no matter what flavor or distribution you use they are always patching and and updating that distribution. Um, the dist upgrade command means distribution upgrade. So the distribution of this Linux operating system we're going to upgrade it and depending on how old your uh, install is of the operating system this could take a long time or it could take a very short time. Also depending on how fast your machine is uh, it could take a long or short time and of course uh, not only speed but uh, what your connection speed is running because it does have to download these updates from the internet. So we're going to issue this command and lucky me I have nothing that needs to be updated at this time. Now the other thing we can also run is an upgrade which again using the sudo apt-get command move this down here and we can run upgrade. Now what this will do is it will upgrade all the components that are built into this operating system. Now if there was something specific that you wanted to upgrade, for example if we wanted to upgrade our installation of SSL which is the secure socket later or SSH, we could do that. See if an upgrade is available and at this time it says there's no upgrade available. Okay. But if I wanted to upgrade all components here, we could see that at this point there is nothing that needs to be upgraded. Okay, so we've got everything up to date. So at this point now, we are ready to go ahead 